So do you need a gravel bike or will a bike like this, rim brake, 25 mil tires, single speed, steel, will this suffice for most of the gravel that you can find out there? This is my Wabi Classic. It is a full steel bike, single speed, rim brake, 25 mil tires. They're 28 mil, but they only go up to 25 mil because the rims are really narrow. This is probably the worst bike that you could actually ride for gravel, but I want to test it out and see the limits of 25 mil tires with rim brakes. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we can get into. I have no grip on these tires, so I really can't go fast at all. Yeah. Real careful. 28 millimeter tires, but they only blow up to about 25, 26 mil. Also good, I don't have clipless pedals on. I don't have any foot retention, so it's just, if I lose traction, I can just put my foot down really, really fast. A little sandy. Not bad. Some rocks right here. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Yeah, see, it's, it's a bit sketchy. Ooh, jeez. Feel the bike slipping under me. I pump these tires up to 85 PSI. I might, I might uh, let some air out of them. Yeah, the purpose of this is if you have a road bike and you want to dabble in some gravel, can you do it with super skinny tires? Yeah, just got to be careful. See, it, I'm looking right here. It, it, it's smooth, but then the sand creeps up on you and grabs your tire. So you really got to be careful. Speaking of which, I'm going to let some air out of these tires right now. Just a little bit, just a little. Pss, pss. The back one. Probably good to run them at. 70 PSI, the lowest you can go. I wouldn't want to go too low with the uh, narrow tires. But I go pretty low. I'm just good doing. All right, it already kind of feels a little bit better. I don't know if that's a placebo effect or not. But as you can see, this is kind of very smooth gravel. This is like luxury gravel. Gravel on a single speed road bike, rim brakes, 25 mil, Continental Grand Prix 5000 tires, non tubeless, tubelito inner tubes. Yeah, these with the lower pressure, just that little bit, probably around 70 psi right now. Feels much better. Yeah, it feels bouncier. This is the good stuff. Yeah. Looks like they have better grip right now. A lot more confidence. It's pretty well groomed though. Although the problem with a single speed bike, we're gonna do climbing. Hopefully we don't lose traction. I don't think we will. So far so good, although the climb's getting pretty tough right now. All right. I think the lowest I've run, lowest pressure I've run, I had gravel tires on these wheels. 28 millimeter width. And I had I think I, I set it at 60 PSI. That was the lowest I ever ran on a bike like this. Let's go ahead and... Oh, one thing's for sure, these brakes are... Uh, these brakes are really good. Brakes are on point, rim brakes for the win. Now I can fit up to a 32 mil tire on this bike. 
but 32 millimeter tires on the road are actually noticeably slower than 28 millimeter tires from what I've at least that's how they feel it seems like the 28s just accelerate a lot a lot faster um, 32s would probably be noticeably, be noticeably better when you take them off-road though you know it's the that's the downside of narrow tires obviously you know this stuff is pretty easy though but this isn't real gravel this is barely gravel it's smoother than some roads though let's see yeah, this is this is nice and smooth. It's almost it's like Yeah, it's nice and smooth. I didn't even have to lower my tire pressure for this, but I prefer lower tire pressure, just tires without any tread. Good to uh Good to do that. I don't want to fall. I I fall. I fell a while ago. I'm gonna slow up a bit here. Is it? Nope, it doesn't change. It looked like it got rougher because it was in the shade. Actually, it does get rougher right here. Let's see. See the rocks. Actually, not too bad. Lower tire pressure. So there's a big benefit of riding a steel bike. I, I love steel. It rides so smooth. This bike, this steel Wobby Classic, with 25 millimeter tires. Remember, they're 28, but they're real life 25s. Pumped up to 85 PSI. To get the same level of smoothness on my giant TCR, I have to drop the tire pressure down to 60 PSI and run wider tires. It's too harsh. Very harsh riding bike, that bike. So steel really, steel really uh, rides nicely. Very nicely. Yeah, steel bikes for the win. I kind of, I want to try a titanium bike. I follow some guy, Reginald Scott. Reginald, if you're watching, what's up? Thanks for watching if you are. Titanium bikes, I would love one. Yeah, they're expensive, but if you look at a similarly, a similarly priced and specced carbon bike, you're only going to be paying 10% more, if that, but something Maybe I'm a bit traditional. I still feel like carbon is weaker than anything else. Steel is nice. Titanium's nice. I mean, carbon's not all bad. I like carbon rims, carbon forks, forks carbon seat posts, uh, and I think carbon frames, like I have a Trek Domani, I think that's pretty hardy and pretty, pretty durable. But again, can't be the durability of metal. This bike is pretty aggressive, but I actually have the handlebars raised as high up as I can go. And you could see, um, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time on the tops, which I don't mind spending time on the tops right here, but really only for cruising, because uh, you, can't, you can't reach the brakes from here. Really, I try to ride in the hoods as much as possible. I move my hands around though. I barely use the drops. I could. Although, I don't want to hurt my neck. Yeah, this gravel is totally fine. 25 millimeter tires. Remember, I, I, I keep wanting to say they're 28s, but I actually measured them with a caliper and they're only measured at 25. So this stuff is, stuff is totally fine. Yeah, I'm, actually have Bike feels pretty planted. Rolling over. You know. Stuff is, uh, yeah, we got some rocks right here. I can feel them. I got my, my lightweight Wobby wheels on. Sub 15s, all silver. Really nice wheels. Cheap compared to the carbon wheels. Cheap, lightweight, 
1,495 grams for the set. And, you know, they're, they're not the strongest wheels, but I know how to true wheels. So every once in a while I take a spoke wrench and just adjust them. And the great thing is, for the set, it's $350. And the benefit of uh, riding a single speed bike. Yeah, this is fun. Cling. Whoa. Sand sneaks up out of nowhere. You just feel it take your tire on these narrow tires. So, yeah, you just. I think what we're doing here is underbiking, and it's definitely fun. You know, it makes you think a bit more. Ooh, we have a lot of sand right here. I don't know if we can... Yeah, we can... Ugh, we're kind of getting through. Okay. We're kind of getting through. Yep, we got it. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Ooh. All right. Awesome. Sand came out of nowhere. I thought I was going to have to put my foot down and walk, but... I just muscled through. 25 mil tires versus sand. I guess if you know your bike, you know how to maneuver it. It's all good. This is where I wanted to go. Oh, we're going straight. I don't have... These are fast road tires. Pick up speed pretty fast. But we're off-road, so I don't... I don't want to go too fast. That's the negative of... riding narrow race tires off-road. A little too fast for my comfort level. Yeah, this is what I call luxury gravel. Hey. This is going to be kind of crazy. Medium gravel. All right. Stick to the ends. Just go a little slow. Take the, take the, da 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 all right, we got through. Jeez. <laughs> We've been uphill. Ooh, this is tough. Ooh, bike almost slid out under me. This is a little tough. We got through it though, see? Light to medium gravel, you can totally do. And I just chose to go right through sand, Jesus. Just stay on the edges. The thing that's good about the 25, 28 tires is they are it's easy to change direction really fast. You know, keeps the bike, keeps the bike agile. And I feel like it helps you stay upright. Gives you good bike control too. Whew, boy. Nope, you left, thanks. All right. Still smooth gravel over here, though. Looks like this is a car path because you see the you see the uh, grass in the middle.
Well, gonna end the ride right here. We gotta get back to, or I have to get back to where I'm staying. The ride by the numbers, 11.9 miles, 277 feet of climbing, average speed, 10.7 miles per hour. So I hope this inspired you to take your road bike off-road, especially if you have smooth roads like this. It's totally doable. Just be careful, do the stuff at your own risk, of course, but don't feel like you gotta run out and spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on a gravel bike just to ride a little bit off-road like this. It is totally doable on a bike that has rim brakes, 25 millimeter tires, and I normally wouldn't do this. I just wanted to simulate if you're on a road racing bike and you find some gravel and you actually want to go ahead and ride it, if you're doing a fast gravel group ride, obviously uh, a gravel bike is going to be the best for that. But rim brakes, 25 millimeter Continental race tires, one gear, steel bike. I feel great. I don't feel sore at all. The bike soaked up all the vibrations. I did lower the tire pressure a bit, probably to 65, 70 PSI. I like low pressures. I, I don't really, I haven't gotten a pinch flat yet, so I like low pressures. But yeah, Bobby Cycles, check them out. I'll uh, throw a link in the description just if anyone wants a a quick uh, a quick thing to go to go to their website. Not sponsored. I just love their product. Bought it with my own money. So hope you enjoyed the ride. And as always, stay safe, get out there, and have fun. Thanks for watching.